Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. This could be for Jim and I. Jim and I. Staying alive, staying alive. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Jim and I. It's going to be for week three of May 2021. Gemini. I just saw the card in my head. This could be the one. So there's that. So we have judgment and grief. All right. So you're having a hard time. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So to me, it looks like you got a challenge in front of you. To me, you want a second chance. Or you just got to deal with your own consequences. So it's like you had something. Uh, you, you had something, but you lost it. You want a second chance with something, someone. This is how someone feels about you. It's one or the other. And it's it's a lesson. So I think this person understands now or you that you got a big challenge in front of you. And it's, it's for Gemini, right? So I don't know why it sounds strange. I feel like this is somebody's lesson that you're dealing with. I say they lost you. And this read is you. So you could have lost something and now you want a second chance. But I'm telling you, like, it's weird because it came out this way too. And I switched it up like it's the opposite. So maybe somebody's going to come at you and you're just like, no. Like you lost it. Or maybe you're like, okay. So let's find out. Gemini week 3, May 2021, current energy for Gemini. Maybe the table's turned somewhere. Because again, I feel like it's the opposite energy. Something's going on. I know what it's saying, but I don't know how to read it. Someone can't, it's like someone can't read you. Yeah, see, you're coming in as fire. <clears throat> you're on a whole new level. This is the person that lost the opportunity. They probably waited too long just watching at a distance. Not, you know what I'm saying? They just, they, they waited too long. Doesn't mean that it won't work out. That's just the vibe I'm getting. What he or she is thinking or doing. So right now, my little Gemini, you're coming in as a fire. Strong feminine fire. Man, look at that. They want a new start with you, a new cycle. Love is at the bottom of the deck. Yep, somebody definitely lost an opportunity with you. What you don't see coming. Again, I want to do opposite. It's weird. It's like what you don't see coming is something extremely long term. You could have been dealing with somebody who was protecting their money before they come at you. Possible outcome. Teamwork. Someone owes someone an apology. Current past, two months ago, two years ago, two hours ago, somebody needed to make a decision, they didn't want to, they were super stressed out, but now they're not really stressed out anymore, so I think it's because they probably already lost an opportunity. This is somebody who definitely wants a, a brand new cycle with you, something solid. If some of you are most definitely dealing with someone with money and they were just trying to protect their money. But what you don't see is long term. Somebody that's going to come in with probably a smaller offer can turn into something long, huge, stable. Someone's willing to put the work in. This is this looks like a straight up new soul, like a, a contract too. A new soul contract. 
but it looks like you have to give someone a second chance. So current past. Because right now you're just you're taking care of yourself, looking good, feeling good. You're right and you're in the right energy. Yeah, disappointed, healing. Somebody needed to heal from something. So you were probably dealing with somebody that was dealing with something that they couldn't move forward. Maybe they just wanted to heal or they weren't seeing something. Okay, so something did not move forward. Currently, this energy is still kind of watching you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's like multiple energy here. So I don't know what that's about. Because you were coming in, you were coming in as, you are coming in as Queen of Wands and the Princess of Wands ready for a new adventure. I could see why you could be a little cold, smart, practical, right? But, um, like this is a totally another, this is a total different energy of like a feminine, really emotional about a situation. This could have been you. And you got the truth of a situation and you decided to put no effort into it. But I don't see it like that because it's communication, the truth. Something's coming at you that you were unaware of. But to me, you probably would have already knew this because you already know somebody lost an opportunity with you. So you do have a challenge coming your way. That is for sure. Because you're on fire right now. Yeah, see, Dragonfly, being lighthearted, finding out things come to light, change, adapt, heal. And that's that communication coming in. Now this Queen of Swords, this could be you that's kind of like not having it, you know, and you're blocking it. But I don't know. Clarity, truth, solidarity. Yeah, I mean, it could be you mirroring old wounds. So when this person comes in, it might trigger some things. And you might be like, eh, not showing your true feelings, gaslighting. So when this energy kind of comes at you, you know, see the dynamics are changing again. Okay. I just confused the shit out of some of you. Just looking at how things are landing. So it kind of is you too being guided. You're angry. So you are going to get a little triggered with the communication that's about to come at you. It's, it's almost like emotional communication, too. Like, you don't want to stabilize something. Be careful. It, it doesn't look negative. I think you're just, you're feeling yourself, you're good. Somebody was not moving forward. They were not making a decision. And it looks like you got hurt. But this is somebody who really wants to put the effort in, really wants a second chance, Really wants to, you know, like you don't see it. Like this is long term. Like this is actually really good. I don't normally give my advice like that because I. It, it's almost like you might not want to miss this opportunity again. Maybe somebody just wasn't ready. Because it's saying be lighthearted. You know what I mean? Like. And this energy is like cold ass bitch. This energy is, uh, they're going to come at you. This is not somebody that is going to hold back. 
But you were dealing with somebody who didn't want to make a decision and it pissed you off. Yeah, they have the confidence. See, this is somebody who's no longer confused. They know exactly what they want. They have the confidence. They're coming out of hermit mode. They're not going to accept that something was over between the two of you. You got some offer coming at you, Gemini. It almost wanted to come out a little, eh, you know, so it's, it's, it's almost like somebody was manifesting. I don't know how to put that damn card. To me, it's like the star was at the bottom of the deck. So to me, someone's like planning, working on something. Yeah. Somebody wants you. Someone is extremely unhappy without you in the picture. Thinking about what their next move is. This is like an energy that thought they can also trick themselves into thinking they didn't need you. This is going to be a big challenge for you. They keep coming out in a way I don't know where to place them. This is going to be a challenge for you. I don't, in a way, I don't know if you're even going to want it back. It's like being patient. Didn't I say something like that in the beginning of you guys' read? Not patience, but meaning like you weren't sure. It has me doing weird things and looking at the cards again. Needs time. Cycles take time. Heal. Separation but missing you. Unsure about the future. That's a future. See how I didn't know how to put that? See, somebody wants to put effort into this. I like you. Somebody likes you. Romance is blooming. Wanting to start fresh. Have a date. It's almost like they don't know how you're going to react. So you guys can come together and work on something. It, it's so like, I don't know. I don't know what you want. Because when this communication comes in, it is, you're not going to like it. it it's it's going to trigger you. You're going to like put your guard up, but you're going to be emotional. It's, it's like you don't want to put the effort in. You don't want to ground a situation when this truth comes at you. I'm telling you, you were dealing with somebody who didn't want to put the effort in, didn't want to make a decision. You got hurt, you move forward, you're feeling yourself. This person is no longer confused. They have the confidence, they know exactly what they want. So if they haven't been saying anything, here it comes. This is something they want long term. It's almost like they didn't see it, you didn't see it, manifesting it. This is, again, this is, if something tricky happened, they could have been protecting their money. And it could have been, this is somebody that tried to, this is somebody that tried to tell themselves, I can live without this person. No. They want you back because they lost you because they didn't make a decision. Now the outcomes, you know, is, is good. You know, this is something that can be brought together. It is teamwork. It does involve your future. Now the fact that I was going back and forth between this and this is either because this person's going back and forth or you're going back and forth. But this energy misses you. And I'm not saying just because someone misses you, you got to take them back. But I'm telling you, there's something here that is has to do with your future. And it really does look like a situation you should consider. And I'm, I normally don't say stuff like that. Because this is somebody who actually, they want something solid. They want a new cycle. They want to wipe the slate clean. Wipe the slate clean. They want to talk to you. You're not going to like it. But maybe you just need some time to you know, figure out what you want. You don't have to nay or yay something right away. But this is somebody who definitely wants to, and I just asked your best advice. It seems to be divine timing. So somebody who probably didn't tell you how they felt or what they really wanted. Okay? So everything played out exactly the way it was supposed to. Yeah.
Yeah, I just asked, what about divine time and seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, interference, temptation, third party? Like, there was interference, okay? And now something is the right time. That was the truth. The truth is coming out to probably everybody that was involved. Yeah, see, yeah. You're, you're more pissed. Well, I wouldn't say you're pissed. You're a little pissed. You're, you're angry about the way something turns out. And to me, what I'm picking up on is you're just basically like, you know what, you lost the opportunity. Like, this is way too much of a challenge. Like, somebody was dealing with something karmic that was interference. Like, you're not, you're not having it. But you do have, yeah, see? Soul contract, like I said. I knew there was some type of contract here. It's almost like... It just, it wasn't time, and I hate using that damn excuse, because to me, that's a freaking excuse. Everybody's meant to come in somebody's life at the right time. It takes two people to push through. Obviously, two people didn't push through, so if it's, if it's timing, two people are ready. Okay? So you might want to reconsider. All right, y'all, I hope you have a kick-ass week, and I will get to the bottom of this over on Patreon. Again, you can have every all 13 videos um, every week for $2 a week, okay? I appreciate you guys' support, and um, I love you guys, and we will see you on Patreon. Love you guys. Bye.